I'd like to show you how to sharpen a blade for a Fisker State Sharp Max uh, Real more. It's the beginning of a new season right now. I've got one season I use this for. The blades are getting a little bit dull, so now I want to sharpen them. Um, with that, what you can do is you can buy uh, Fisker's has a real mower blade maintenance kit. Inside that kit, there is a, a crank arm to crank the reel, a lapping compound, a brush to apply the lapping compound, and some pretty good instructions that are in here, but I really couldn't find a good video, so I thought I'd make a how-to on this. Um, the other thing to keep in mind, you will need a few tools, a 10 millimeter wrench, a five millimeter Allen, um, either pliers or flat, um, a, a flathead screwdriver, as well as a Phillips screwdriver. And one thing I've noticed is after sharpening the blades, sometimes you also have to uh, adjust the blades a little bit. Um, so we'll do that at the end of this process. And with that, it's a 13 millimeter wrench and 11 millimeter wrench. So between those two, to uh, adjust the blades, make sure you've got it cutting just the way you want so it goes through the grass really well. Um, and safety also with glasses and some work gloves so you don't cut yourself or hurt yourself. Okay, the first step is to remove the cotter pins in the handle here. So there's cotter pin right over here and right over here. We'll go ahead and pull this out. Pull this cotter pin out. Watch the handle so it doesn't fall. They both come right up. Set those on the side. And watch this will come right on. Handles off. Our next step is to remove the chain cover on the side. There's going to be, we need our, our 10 millimeter wrench, and there's going to be a bolt here and one right down here. We will get wheels to get after to hold this up. and this cover will come right off. So again, you can see where the two connection points are. Okay, now what we want to do is remove the master link on the chain so we can actually take the chain apart and take it off. And you can keep moving your chain around and if you look right here, you'll find a part, this master link that's here with an opening on this side. What you want to do is you can take a screwdriver and you want to push it away from the open side to pop this out. Then you can take the chain apart and remove the chain. Okay. Almost got it. There we go. You can see right here comes right off. Make sure we don't lose that. And then this little piece will also come right off. Once we have that off, this chain will come apart. Okay? Then we can remove the chain. Just like that. Okay, our next step is to remove the socket set screw right here. And what that'll do is allow us to, to take this piece off, take this small sprocket off. And it's with the five millimeter, five millimeter Allen wrench. There we go. Take that out. Okay, we've got that removed. And you can see the sprocket comes right off. We want to get that cleaned up nice. Okay, our next step is to install the handle, a little crank handle. And you can see there's a hole in the top side of it. We want to have that go right here by the hole and we'll put a set screw in here to hold it in place. Get the 
let's screw started here a little bit. Make sure that screw goes right inside that hole. Okay. Okay, now I did raise this up a little bit, which gets it a little bit, the blade up a little bit higher, a little bit easier to work with. And the next step is to put the lapping, Fisker's lapping compound on. So we're going to paint this on each one of the blades. And this is going to do the work for us. So just dip a little bit in here and touch a little bit across. Make sure you get it all the way, all the way across. Cover good, all the way right to the very edge. Make sure you don't miss the very last tip of it also. All right, you're gonna to wanna to move this in a counterclockwise manner. And we'll do the next blade. This is very gritty type of material. Now you could tell I didn't have any, uh, it was moving pretty freely, it just wasn't cutting well. If, uh, if you do have a problem where there's a burr or some kind of an issue where it's not moving, it's making a noise when it, when it turns, you definitely wanna make sure that you repair that first and take a file if you have to and get the burr off. Um, wanna make sure that it's not hitting, hitting the, uh, the blade before you try to sharpen it. Almost done here. Get all five blades. You can start to hear it now. It gets a little bit difficult to move. Once you put this compound on, again, it's it'll actually touch and hit. And when we spin the blades, we want to spin for about 10 minutes or so. Okay, I think I've got one more left. And we'll get the last one here. Okay. Okay. Again, the key here is you want to spin the blade in counterclockwise motion. So the opposite way it would normally run when you're running it. So it's going to take a little strength at first. You want to do this for about seven to 10 minutes until it's, it's, you know, going pretty smoothly and not very loud, not real scratchy. Okay, now we want, just want to make sure that we look at every blade, make sure the blade is smooth all the way across. Looks good. Looks good. Got a nice smooth point all the way across. Check all your blades once you're done, then you can go ahead and wipe it off. Paper towel, you could use a rag. Try to get all the excess off of each blade. Okay. It's a nice smooth finish here at the bottom, nice and shiny. Really makes a big difference. Also want to get the bottom blade that it Rubs up against. You're going to be very careful. Make sure you get your gloves on. It's very, very sharp. Protect yourself. 
and you want to just move that blade right with your finger so you've got your finger right between the two blades there you go that's moving nice and easy nice and smooth see that you don't hear anything anymore okay now we can see it's it's all cleaned up it runs smooth you don't hear any noise anymore it's not touching the blades are all nice and shiny so it's should be clean now one thing I've learned is make sure that you can cut your paper and that this it's cutting properly before putting the chain back on and putting the sprocket and the cover and the handle back on that way if you need to make some adjustments or do anything you can make those now and not stick everything back apart so we will move to that next step okay now I'll actually test cutting it from the left the center and the right each one of the five blades so I just take some strips of paper put it down here we want to move clockwise be very careful with your fingers and we want to move clockwise this time you can see it's not cutting let's try the middle here see what the middle's like so we have to adjust the blades here a little bit again it's not quite cutting and we'll test over here that also touches it but does not cut it so we're going to want to make some adjustments with the blade we'll move it down and I'll show you how to do that okay now after you've done sharpening the blades and drying them off and testing your cutting your paper in the center left and the right with all five blades if it isn't cutting right on the left side or the right side or a little bit of both you may need to adjust adjust the blades here a little bit so what we want to do is there's going to be a, a bolt here we use a 13 millimeter wrench we're going to loosen this up there's another bolt right down here we'll loosen that up we need to loosen each of them up first to loosen up the blade and then forward a little bit use a 11 millimeter wrench and you can adjust adjust the blade height here so if it's not quite cutting the paper and it's, it's not touching the blade not cutting the paper you want to tighten a little bit so you can just tighten this just a little bit again <clears throat> if it's if the blades touching and you want to loosen up a little bit because the blade should not be touching you need to loosen up just a little bit and actually what you can do is you can go ahead and turn it while you're turning it you can listen and listen for the point at which the blades just barely not hitting any longer and again you may need to adjust the other side as well figure out which side is is touching um, and again you kind of want to what I try to do is get it to touch a little bit and then back off just enough where you don't hear it touching anymore um, and then do the same from the other side once you're done with that again you want to tighten up your bolt there's two on each side get it nice and tight and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and test to cut paper again see if it works Okay, again, you just want to cut some nice uh, oh, one inch or a little bit less than an inch with paper strips, regular copy paper. And what we'll do is we'll test all five blades from the left, the center, and the right, and make sure that it's cutting good in all areas. So again, make sure you got your work gloves on so you don't cut your hand. And this time we will turn it clockwise. That's nice, very nice. It's going right through it, no problem. I'm going to try the center. Cuts fine. Okay. And we'll try the left side. Cutting through real nice.
All right, we're all set to reassemble the, the mower. Okay, now to reassemble the mower, we want to take off our crank arm. Screw, slide it right off. Again, we'll put on our sprocket again. And we need a five millimeter Allen wrench. Make sure you got lined up properly. Get the sprocket installed. Next piece we have is the chain. We'll try to get this this end over here. Now again, this this helps with the tension of the spring. You want to make sure the spring runs right underneath that. Okay. And then we'll connect it. Get that connected. Remember, we have these two little parts to go. That is installed. And I think I need to take my glove off for this one. Next step is to install the cover over the chain. And again, we got a 10 millimeter wrench. Tighten it up. Okay. And the last step is to install the handle. And put the caution back in. There we go. One saw. Lower my blade back down. I like to cut it very low with Bermuda grass. And we're all set. And that's how you sharpen your blade.